Hello everyone and welcome back to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two Swedes and we love design. <laughs> Arne Jakobsen is one of Denmark's and the world's best known architects and furniture designers. He was born in Copenhagen in 1902 and when he died from a sudden heart attack in 1971 he had created some of the most iconic furniture in Danish design history and all design history. Uh, when designing a building he was known for also designing everything in it. Furniture, lighting, down to small details like door handles and ashtrays. And in this video we will show you 10 of our favorite objects designed by Jakobsen. Yeah, and I'm gonna start with my absolute favorite, the Grand Prix chair with wooden legs. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> Only the one with wooden legs. Yeah. Arne Jakobsen designed his first successful plywood shell chair. How do you say 3100? Yeah, I would say I would say 3100. 3100. <laughs> the ant in 1952 for the company Fritz Hansen. Mm. The following years he continued designing shell shares and best known is probably the 7 series launched in 1955. Mm. Two years later he designed another iconic mm. piece, the model 4130 Grand Prix. The shell itself is a geometric version of the seven, but the biggest innovation was the bent wood legs, giving the chair its unique appearance. At the 1957 Milan Triennale, the chair was awarded a Grand Prix, yeah. and that's where the name comes from. Production turned out to be a struggle, and the first chairs all broke after <laughs> only a short time of use. <laughs> the, construct uh, the construction was changed, but production was nevertheless discontinued already in 74. In more recent years, Fritz Hansen has yet again started producing it with a retail price of approximately 800 US dollars for mm. a version in walnut, which huh. you want. Yeah. <laughs> Old ones are popular at auction and uh, often and are often sold for between four and seven hundred US dollars a piece. Yeah. And now let's talk about Droben, the drop. <laughs> Jakobsen designed a whole range of upholstered chairs for the Sass Royal Hotel, among them the enormously successful Swan and Egg. A bit lesser known is the is Droben, Danish for the drop. It was used in the hotel suites and an exclusive leather upholstered version with copper plated legs was used in the snacks bar. I want a snack bar. Yeah, snack bar. It wasn't put into serial production back in the days, but in recent years Fritz Hansen started producing it. What is recent years? Yeah, I think... Uh, like 20? Uh, like no, uh, I think uh, at least not more than 10 years. Old drop chairs used at the hotel are sometimes sold at auction and they are always really expensive. Mm -hmm. Last year the auction house uh, Piazza sold one of these chairs used at the snacks bar for 1400 uh, US dollars. Wow. So no not 1400 14000 US oh. dollars so it's it's uh, always expensive. <laughs> Well. And a new drop with a leather upholstery is about 1400 $1, yeah. US dollars, so it's that's... 10 times as expensive to buy an old one, but that's of course uh, reasonable. reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> when designing the Sass Royal Hotel in Copenhagen in the late 50s, Jakobsen designed many other things than just furniture. Yeah. For example, he developed the organically shaped AJ Cutlery in 1957, and I just love the shape of them. Yeah, they are. I don't are... know if they're very good to use. I'm not sure. I haven't eaten them with no, them. Me neither, no, me no. But, but I like them. And originally they were made from industrial stainless steel by their silversmith A. Mikkelsen, and nowadays they're produced by Georg Jensen. Yeah. A set of 24 pieces is today approximately 300, 340 US dollars, <laughs> and vintage cutlery are sold from time to time at auction for much less, oh. and is often a bargain compared to the new ones. Yeah, you can get the whole set uh, for yeah. a good price, so uh, yeah. Aren't they in that movie? Yeah, they're in 2001. 2001, yeah, they're using them there. They, they are very space age. Yeah, futuristic. <laughs> yeah. Love them. 
And now let's talk about another chair with a wooden foot. <laughs> the Oxford chair with a wooden foot. And it's very important here too that it's the wooden foot and ox chair, uh, Oxford chair, <laughs> not uh, something else. <laughs> yeah, ox chair. Uh, when designing the new St. Catherine's uh, College in Oxford in the early 60s, Jacobsen uh, also designed a long range of different objects. And one of them is the so-called Oxford chair, designed to be used at the teacher's high table in the canteen. Jacobsen wanted to create a modern throne chair and decided to use molded plywood for the seat and a foot created of four identical pieces of bentwood. The result was an impressive yet simple chair. When standing side by side, the backrests create a high wall, making di- marking distance between the teachers and the students. That's kind of rude. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. And sadly, the chairs tended to fall over due to a high point of gravity. Mm. Um, when put into serial production by Fritz Hansen, the wooden foot was replaced by a metal one and the seat was upholstered. And this resulted in a quite ugly chair, impossible to compare with the original throne-looking chair. But it could stand. It could stand, and that's a good thing <laughs> yeah. in the chair. And old, all wooden Oxford chairs are a rare find today. And back in 2013, one of these chairs was sold by the auction house Philips for the impressive price of 72,000 US dollars. Wowza. Yeah. Also for the Sass Hotel, Jakobsen designed a highly elegant door handle in 1956. It was developed in collaboration with the mountings manufacturer Carl F. Petersen, and it uh, and it's actually still in production. Yeah. <laughs> It has similarities with a handle designed by Henry van der Velde in the early 20th century, but the handle by Jakobsen is obviously much more ergonomic and elaborated. Mm. Made from satin steel, it's sold for approximately 200 US dollars today. Old ones can, from time to time, be found at auction with a nice patina, and they can be quite expensive. But yeah. It's just a door handle, but yeah. I like it. It's very sleek and elegant, and it's... Uh, Seems like it's nice to hold. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And now let's talk about the pre-pop. I don't know that much about this piece of furniture, but we must mention it. It, it was designed in 1969 for the Finnish manufacturer Asko. Uh, it was designed only two years prior to uh, Jakobsen's death and represents a time of experimentation. The futuristic looking table and chairs are made from molded plywood and differs quite a lot from most other furniture designed by Jacobsen. And when sold at auction in Scandinavia, a dining set is often between one and two thousand uh, dollars yeah. somewhere. Yeah. In 1957, Jacobsen designed a range of lamps mm. also for the Sass Hotel, <laughs> produced by the lighting manufacturer Louis Paulsen. The shape was based on the two geometrical shapes, the cylinder and the cone. Mm. Originally, a wall lamp in two sizes, a table lamp in two sizes, and a floor lamp was offered. Mm. The wall lamps were also offered with a metal finish. They are still in production by Louis Paulsen, and today a table lamp costs between 700 and 1,000 US dollars, depending on the finish. Second-hand prices are pretty high, Mm. and uh, early versions with a copper finish are sometimes sold for many thousands. Yeah. I like them, but I don't really want to own one, I think. Uh, you see them almost yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's why. But yeah. I still like them. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice lamp. Mm. And now to Oxen. The easy chair Oxen, or the ox chair as it's often called in English, was launched in 1966 after five years of experimentation. In contrast to the rounded chairs he designed in the 50s, Oxen is a large geometrical chair standing on a five-star base. A matching footstool was also available. Inspired by American recliner chairs, Jacobsen wanted to create an impressive piece of furniture looking like nothing he had done before. And he really succeeded when he uh, launched Oxen. Uh, some loved it, others hated it, but over the years it has become a sought after collectible. It was only produced for a short time, and old shares are rarely found on the second hand market. In 2018, the Swedish auction house Bukowskis sold one for 15,000 US dollars, 
and in 2015 uh, another one was sold by Philips in New York for a huge knockdown of $40,000. And, and recently Fritz Hansen relaunched the Oxen with a retail pri- price of approximately $12,000. Hmm. So it's a very expensive share all, also as a new share. Yeah, yeah. During the Second World War, Jakobsen, who had a Jewish heritage, fled to Sweden to escape the Nazi occupiers. And this marked the real start of Arne Jakobsen's career as a textile designer. The large Swedish department store Nordiska Kompaniet, Enko, soon hired him to design a whole range of textile patterns together with his wife, Jonna Jakobsen. The early ones were inspired by nature, among them Kjejsarkrona and Klöver. Swedish for crown, imperial, and clover. <laughs> yeah. These are interesting because they differ completely from everything else designed by Jakobsen. All textiles by Jakobsen is hard to come by and can easily cost several hundred dollars for a curtain. The Swedish company Borås Peter produces wallpapers with some of Jakobsen's patterns. And they're sold for approximately a hundred US dollars per roll. But it's not as fun as textiles. I know, textiles. And I think this is fun because they are very f- feminine, I think. Yeah. Uh, and Arne Jakobsson is considered quite a male uh, designer and he's mm. going there with his pipe. And then he's, he's creating these beautiful uh, yeah, flower really, really uh, curtains. Love them. Yeah. And finally, we want to mention the beautiful stairway at the office of A. Jespersen and Sön in Copenhagen. The building was designed by Jakobsen and was finished in 1955. The minimalistic stair is set in a glass tube with a diameter of 2 meters and it's almost floating in free air. A similar design was also used by Jakobsen for the fire escapes at the Novo Pharmaceutical Company, a project realized between 1954 and 55, so it's the same time. And they are obviously minimalistic, but also futuristic in a way worthy sci-fi movies like 2001 uh, Space uh, Odyssey. No, no, but the cutlery is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and this was 10 uh, objects by Arne Jakobsen that we really like. Yeah. And if you like this episode, please click thumbs up and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram. We are called Scandinavian Design 101. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Thanks.